Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to talk about Amy Slayton, star of 1000 Pound Sisters, also a YouTuber, who has announced yesterday that she is pregnant. And then we're going to talk about Foodie Beauty, who has been exposed for lying yet again. I guess we'll just have to see. Welcome to the first Girl Talk of 2022. I'm sure that there will be many more to come. Much more mess and much more drama. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, the first thing I wanted to talk about was Amy Slayton. Yesterday, she actually announced on her channel during a video called Our Little Secret that she is pregnant yet again. This will be Amy Slayton's second child that she is having with her husband, Michael. We've been holding out for a while now to tell you this because one, we were scared and not because of the news because, you know, shit happened. And we just really, it's time to tell people. Yeah. You want to tell them? Or? Well, we're expecting another child. Baby number two, y'all. Yeah. Do you guys pay attention to Thousand Pound Sisters? I actually just recently binge watched all the third season, all the new episodes that they have out. I wasn't watching it because I didn't have a cable package, but recently I decided to get YouTube TV because I wanted to keep up with the housewives as well as Thousand Pound Sisters. So it kind of worked out. To be honest, Tammy is way worse than I thought. If you guys have been keeping up with season three, it is most Mostly centered around Tammy as she continues to struggle to lose even the smallest amount of weight to be approved for weight loss surgery. Tammy just doesn't want to do it. You can tell that her heart is not in this. She is also talking to these men, one in particular, the BBW King who actually posted on TikTok that he would leave a woman if she got below 300 pounds. These are not the men that you want to surround yourself with, Tammy. You want a man that's going to support you and support your health. To be honest, these feeders, it's very abusive. There is a disgusting power dynamic there. And I was thinking about that as I was watching the series. We have talked about Life by Jen and Jean before in the past, how they are two addicts in one relationship. But I feel like that is very different because here you have someone who is not an addict taking advantage of someone who is and just continuously enabling them for your own personal pleasure. It is really sick. So I do not see that as a relationship dynamic that should be embraced or acceptable in society. This is going to be a light spoiler, but I feel like it's all over social media, so it's okay. But in the most recent episode, Tammy actually says that she got a restraining order against this BBW King man. But in the preview for today's episode, actually, you can see Amy getting upset because she's still talking to this man even after getting a restraining order on him. One of the main plot points of this season, the beginning of the season, Amy is trying to find an at-home health aid to help her take care of Tammy because Amy is a mother now. She needs to focus most of her attention on her child, right? She can't take care of Tammy and now two children. Amy ends up choosing a woman named Tisa for the job. And honestly, she has become one of my favorite characters on the show. She knows how to handle Tammy and she actually actually stood up to her in a way that not many people do, aside from maybe Misty, who is their sister. I just really like Tisa. She is very friendly and nice, it seems, but she is also able to be stern and put her foot down when she has to, because taking care of Tammy can't be easy. I did want to take a moment to discuss Amy's house. So during one of the recent episodes, she actually broke down because her house was very messy. And it took her back to a time on YouTube when she would upload videos and there would be cockroaches in the background of the videos and people would make fun of her on YouTube. And so it really upset Amy, but she ended up sucking it up 
and having these people help her do what she needed to do, which was clean her house because things had gotten really bad. And during this scene, there was even a bug crawling up the wall. I can actually remember a time about two years ago when I had an ant on my microphone and it was one of the most embarrassing moments on my channel. So I can kind of understand where she's coming from. All this to say, I wish Amy and Michael the absolute best with their new bundle of joy and I can't wait to see their family grow on TLC. We'll see how many seasons they have. Wow. They seem to be doing very well for themselves and I'm happy to see it. All right, you guys. So I wanted to take the time to do a little bit of a beauty update. Chantal is actually live right now in a stream entitled Shopping, but we're going to talk about some of her past transgressions, meaning yesterday right? All the drama that went down yesterday. I have to tell you guys, it wasn't too much, but we did get a community tab post and it tells a different story from the one I'm going to put together for you guys. Rule number one, Chantel lies. Yesterday, she wrote the following. I'm feeling pretty down and crummy and the vibe of the live lately honestly doesn't help. I think I'm going to order pizza and watch a movie and just take some time to myself. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Like I've said before, Chantal must think that her VIBs are absolutely stupid because just hours later, Natter actually uploaded a video entitled Chicken Curry My Way. Now she can say all she wants that this was recorded days ago and she just edited it. But seriously, instead of spending time with your VIBsers, you decided to lie to them when your intention wasn't to stay home and order a pizza and just chill. Your intention was to edit this video for him or at least upload it. Maybe she didn't film it yesterday. Who knows? But a lie is a lie is a lie. All right, you guys. So I wanted to take the time to discuss a issue that is very serious and foodie beauty is not handling it the right way and it's causing more and more people to get upset and that is of course the karate joe situation so over the weekend chantal actually almost defended him it was almost like she had sympathy for karate joe and his situation i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but like when it comes to senators, registered sex offenders i feel like Fuck, I don't know. Like, I just feel like uh, this was in a movie that I watched too called Little Children. Like, if somebody pays their debt to society, I'm not saying like, yes, okay. I just like, you know what I mean? Like, like these people will like, like just throw eggs at the house, go beat them up like all the time. And, and you could say, yeah, they deserve it. They're gross, whatever. But yeah, but uh, come on. You know what I mean? Like, no. And if you guys don't know about the entire Karate Joe situation, it is very sick. I have a link on my Twitter, but I can't really share the link with you guys right here on YouTube. It's really bad. Basically, he is a danger to children. When it comes to society, he is the lowest of the low. He is a registered offender. Chantal can't seem to get her head wrapped around that fact and she continues to have what feels like sympathy for him. I will show you guys a clip in just a moment. Over the weekend she also had sympathy on her tongue when discussing Saddam Hussein, the absolute worst type of people, SOs and dictators. I haven't seen this woman show sympathy for anybody. Regular, normal people who are doing good things and something bad might happen to them. She doesn't have sympathy for that, but she can muster up a bit of sympathy for the absolute lowest of the low. It really shows the type of person Chantal is, and I think that she has put a nail in the coffin for a lot of people when it comes to this. Take a look at this clip where she discusses how Karate Joe actually blocked her take a look actually no i don't talk to karate joe for real i don't I, he like disappeared like he like blocked me from like everything like i noticed like my name like he wasn't on my list on whatsapp anymore so yeah he used to just really message me and like honestly just get on my nerves a lot of the time <laughs> i hate to say that but like at first when i first started my channel I, like it was just a viewer always like you know and i know he always had a crush on me but just like just like send me pictures of food like i don't kitten can he watched like kitten cams all day i don't know anyway so he would just like message me like say prayers for tater like a cat i don't know so anyway all right 
you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes from my recent live stream. And the first comment I wanted to actually address was a nasty comment. Now, this wasn't from the live stream, but someone commented and said that I should raise my camera angle because you can see my double chin. I don't care, sweetie. Okay, but today's actual comment comes in from Lydia Rankin, who says the following. This is regarding Amber Lynn. Well, actually, at her weight, walking is dangerous. So sticking to biking is the best thing for her until she loses a good 100 LBs or more. At least that's what I think. Yeah, um... To be honest, I'm not totally sure about this comment. I, while watching Thousand Pound Sisters, it did look like it was dangerous for Tammy to be walking for any long distances, but she needs to make sure that she continues her mobility because once you lose it, that's it. That's what they said about Tammy. Once you lose it, you'll go bed bound and it's all downhill from there. But I have been thinking about that, uh, biking thing that she can do while she's sitting down. And I think that is a good idea. But I do think that she can walk. She has stated, unless she is lying, that she can walk for 31 minutes. Seems like a non-scale victory, right? All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Amy Slayton announcing her pregnancy? And that's going to be it because the rest of the video was freaking dark, but we had to discuss it. And I'm sorry about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.